Okay, last week I gave praise to a film called The Hurt Locker. I gave it five stars out of five, and I'm here to talk a little more about it this week. Now, due to the audio problems of last week's show, I really couldn't go into much detail, but I'll go into a little more here. The fact of the matter is, this is a war film that just isn't your typical war is bad and people die movie. It builds tension within its characters, and the characters here are very interesting, to say the least. It's the most poignant war film since Saving Private Ryan, with many valid points to make, and not just about the war itself, but the individualism. And it's not overly political either, and that's what I liked about it too. Jeremy Renner, the lead uh, in this lead actor in this film, gives an Oscar-worthy performance, and there are also some great performances by Anthony Mackie and David Morris, among others. Now, the thing is, is that most war films are just lately just been merely glorified action films, which yes, like a film like We Were Soldiers was based on a true story, but really just didn't have any poignancy to offer, just didn't really have any valid points to make. It was just good as a decent war action film. Um, Black Hawk Down and Jarhead had different points to make. They were both excellent movies, but I just feel that The Hurt Locker just came across as a film that just had a lot of stories to tell and did a great job telling it. Now, <laughs> anyway, sorry. Um, again, I completely recommend this highly to anybody who loves a war film. Now, I had recently someone come up to me and complain that it's too long. In my opinion, no great film. No great film is too long, and The Hurt Locker is indeed a great film. So, if The Hurt Locker is playing in the theater near you, go see it. If not, travel to see it. I know gas money is pretty high, but if you're a big fan of war films, you will not be disappointed in my opinion. Just view it. Just look at it. Just watch it. Take it in. And uh, also, I think it's going to be a widespread release due to the buzz it's getting. At least I hope so. I would really just vouch for it. I would even start an online petition to get it a widespread release. Okay, I wouldn't go that far. I'm sure. I'm sure it'll get its it, it'll get its due if not in theaters and on DVD. So yes, the Hurt Locker, five stars out of five. It's the mo the must see movie out in theaters right now. Go see it.